Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Today I am in this chair to react to my anticipated releases of 2018. This is a video idea that I had last year where I reacted to my 2017 anticipated releases and basically talked about whether I'd read them or not, whether I even owned them or not, stuff like that. So if you want to watch that video, I'll link it in the description below. But today we are doing that for my 2018 anticipated releases. Last year I did two anticipated releases videos, one for the first half of the year, one for the second half of the year. So hopefully this will be a little bit easier than it was last year to film. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this footage on the screen. Um, and basically that is because um, a couple weeks ago, my laptop decided that whenever it shut off, it was going to delete every single file that I had on my computer. Um, the good thing is, I didn't have a lot on my computer. The only thing I had was my Bruno Bibliophile stuff and my Cloessen stuff. So I'm pretty sure that last or that last year's anticipated, anticipated releases videos got moved to my hard, portable hard drive. Um, so I think we still have the, the stuff to be able to, to do this properly. I am going to be watching off of my phone on YouTube. You guys will hopefully be seeing what I'm seeing as well. Okay, most anticipated 2018 releases, January to June. Hey guys, it's Chloe and today I am here with a brand new video. Today we are talking about some of my most anticipated 2018 releases video. Starting right off in January, coming out on January 2nd, is Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. This okay, I'm gonna keep a tally of this when I'm editing. How many I've read, how many I haven't read. First up, we have Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. I can't reach it right now, but it is... Oh, what are my bookmarks? Well, it is up here. I have not read it yet. It's up there. I just haven't read it yet. But one of my goals for 2018, or for 2019, excuse me, is to try and get my TBR as low as possible. So I'm hoping to read that this year because um, I do not have a very huge physical TBR, so I'm hoping to fix that. The next book, which comes out on January 16th, is Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This, I have read Zenith. It's here. I do own it. I have read it. I'm salty that they did a cover change, um, and I'm hoping they'll release it in hardcover again. Uh, with the new cover, um, but I did read and enjoy this book. It was a it was a read along book last year for Once Upon a Read Along. Um, but I'm excited for the sequel to come out, and I will be reading that this year. And the last January book comes out on January 30th, and it is Wires and Nerve Volume Two: Gone of Rogue course. by Marissa Meyer. I own and re and have read a book by my queen. Of course, I have. Um, yes, I did read this in 2018. I read it almost like as soon as I got it. Loved it and enjoyed it. I love everything that Marissa Meyer does. She is my queen. Next. I am, okay, I feel pretty great. The Trader Prince is right here. I have read this, this is also a Once Upon a Read Along book last year. Um, and I enjoyed this book. I am on a roll. I have actually read a lot of these books so far. I mean, we're not very far in, but I've read a lot of them. Moving on to March. Coming out on March 13th is Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jane. Obsidio is right behind me. I have read this. I actually read the whole trilogy in 2018, and I firmly believe that this is a series that messes with your mind um, because it's too real. Like, what if, like, AI and stuff like that did take over. Like, it messed with my head, okay? But um, I read this whole series in 2018. Uh, this was also a read-along book for 2018, so that probably explains why I've read a lot of these books. A lot of them were read-along books of the month. My hair was so dark this time last year. So dark. I haven't even colored it since then, and it lightened up so much. Moving on to April. Coming out on April 10th is Winterglass by Lexa Hillier. I have not read Winterglass. I don't even own Winterglass. Um, I have read the first one, Spindle Fire. I really enjoyed that one and I do own that. Um, I got Winterglass from the library and then didn't end up reading it. I can't remember why. Um, I don't think I was just, I just don't think I was in the mood for it at the time. So I have not read it and I do not own it. I don't know if I'm 
ever going to read it. I know the first one ended on a cliffhanger, so maybe. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I don't... I My main focus right now is my physical TBR, so I don't anticipate myself reading it anytime soon. Next coming out on April 17th is Love and War by Melissa De La Cruz. This um, also, around the time I got Winter Glass, I got Love and War from the library. I did start it. I only read... I didn't read a lot of it, like 10, 20 pages. And I just wasn't feeling like reading at the time. Um, I do still want to read it. I do. I don't own it, so I don't, again, I don't anticipate it anytime soon, but I would still like to read this. I'll probably end up rereading the first one before I pick up this one, because I think there's a third one coming out already, and the cover is gorgeous. The gold, beautiful. Um, but again, I don't see myself reading it anytime soon, but I would like to read it again. Moving on to May, we have A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Moss. This is the next, I did read it. Honestly, when's there going to be another book in the series? Like, when? Because I'm waiting for news on the next book, and I haven't gotten any, and I'm salty about it. Um, I loved this book. It was a read-along book of the month, which is, again, pro I would have read it even if it wasn't a read-along book. Um, and I just want to know when the next book is coming out. That's that's what I want to know here. So if somebody can answer any information on when the next Akatar book is coming out, like, please tell me. I was like, the back of this book just says, oh, I can't even find it now. Excited for the next A Court of Thorns and Roses installment? Check out Throne of Glass series while you wait. I'm still waiting. I want the next one, please. Like, I realize that Sarah Jerry Moss, like, just had a baby, like, earlier this year, but, like, I'm still waiting. So coming out on May 1st, we have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So oh this is her my second goodness. I totally forgot on the, on the Come Up was supposed to come out last year. It was supposed to come out in May of last year, and I got pushed all the way to February of this year. So obviously, no, I haven't read this one yet. Um, since it got pushed back, I totally forgot about that. Um, and I, like, I was just talking about On the Come Up in my most anticipated video for this year. So that is crazy that I totally forgot about that. Um, so yes, obviously no, I don't have it, and no, I didn't read it, but still, that that's crazy. Next, coming out on May 8th, we have Puddin' by Julie Murphy. Puddin', I do not own it, but I have read it. I read it earlier last year. I read it in, like, June or July. Um, read it and enjoyed it. Don't own it. We have War Storm by Victoria Aveyard. Here is the giant book that is War Storm. Um... I have many feelings on the Red Queen series. I think it started off really well and then just slowly went downhill. Um, but like I was so close to the end, I was like, I may as well finish it. Um, so the only reason I own this book at all is because I wanted to get it signed at Y'all Fest. I wanted to get the rest of my series signed and it's now signed. Actually, the flap was still on this page. Like it never moved. Um, I have read this book. I did read it. It was a 22 hour long audiobook and it took me two weeks to read it on my commute. Um, but yes, I read it. I don't even remember what I rated it. I'm just kind of glad the series is over. <laughs> on to June. Coming out on June 5th, we have Save the Date by Morgan Matson, her new book. Um, I have not read this one yet. The whole reason that I purchased it well besides the fact that I wanted it I purchased it because I wanted to go take it to y'all fest to get signed um but they sent me a signed first edition so it didn't come with me to y'all fest to get signed um but I am still excited to read this I love Morgan Matz and I love contemporary um and again my goal is to get my TBR down to zero in 2019 so this will hopefully be read at some point this year on June 26 we have My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Birdie Ashton, and Jody Ma My Plain Jane is right here. Uh, it was a read-along book of the month, so I did read it, and I loved it. I love the Lady Janie's work, and I can't wait for the next one, which probably won't be out until, like, 2020. But there's supposed to be three, I think. Three or four books. Um, this one was really good. I highly recommend picking up um, My Plain Jane and My Lady Jane. My Lady Jane is being the first one. I think it is so funny. This one probably wasn't as funny as the first one, 
but they're still awesome book but also coming out on june 5th is from twinkle with love by sanja manan it's also right here um i actually read this in december and i really enjoyed it and loved it i love everything that sanja has done so far and i'm looking forward to her new release the last book last i'm going book. to talk about today which doesn't fit into a category yet and by category i mean month and that is a reaper at the gates by saba tahir okay anything that saba tahir has come out with there's always confusion behind it i feel like um I did read A Reaper at the Gates. I do not own it, and the reason why is because they made the new uh, covers, and that one is only out in hardcover right now, and I have the two new ones in paperback. So obviously I'm waiting for paperback, which should be out this year, I believe. Um, but I did read that. Um, my friend Kathleen from For the Love of Books loves that series, so I'm always required to read that as a read-along book um, whenever the next one comes out because she loves it so much. And I, I enjoy it too. It's not my favorite series, but I do enjoy it. So I have caught or kept up with it. So for the first half of 2018, we're doing pretty good so far. So now we have to go see the second half of 2018. So far, I think we're kind of like half and half, um, but like with more that I actually have read. Um, so now we have to go back to July. All right, most anticipated 2018 releases, July through December. It's only five minutes long. Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. Okay. First one is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This comes out. I did read Sea Witch. I read it from the library. We made it a read-along book last year. I did not enjoy Sea Witch as much as I thought I was going to, um, but I have read it, and I don't own it for obvious reasons. We're already off to a good start on this video. I've read this book. This one coming out in August is Catwoman Soul Seeker by... So I do own this book. It is way up here where I can't reach. I do own it and like Batman I have not read it because I prefer to read them in order and I haven't read Batman yet so I can't read Catwoman yet. Going over September nothing because September. nothing I want to read comes out in September and going straight into October the first one we have is The Lady's Guide to Petty's Coats and Piracy by... M here is The Lady's Guide. I have read this book. I read it I believe also in October that same month and I really enjoyed this book just like I enjoyed the first one. Um, I highly recommend this duology. I think it is, while it is historical, I think it is still very um, contemporary as well. Um, with, uh, there's uh, LGBT plus, and this one I feel like focused more on friendship uh, and family, but still highly recommend this duology. Um, and I really enjoyed this one as much as I did the first one. Next, coming out on October 9th, we have What If It's Us by, it is right here. I got it as a birthday slash Christmas present from Alana from the Awkward Book Nerd and I read this book in December and I really really enjoyed it. I loved it from the very beginning. Super cute. LGBT plus. My favorite character I think is Dylan because of his humor. Um, and if you haven't picked up this book I highly recommend it. If you really like contemporary and contemporary romance and diverse contemporary you will love it from the first page. It's so good and I found myself laughing out loud at this book especially when I was in the waiting room. Uh, for one of my appointments and it was not good because I could not laugh in that waiting room. It would have been really awkward. Moving on we have Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Moss. This comes out on October 23rd. This is the final book in the Throne of Glass series. Okay. Which so Kingdom of Ash didn't have a cover at this point. Now it has a cover. Um, I do not own Kingdom of Ash. I have not read it because I'm not caught up on Throne of Glass. I've decided that I want to reread Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight which are the two books that I have read in that series. I would like to reread them before reading the rest of the series um but I, I'm still interested in finishing this series that's the problem I don't think I want to admit that I, I don't want to admit giving up I would like to try and finish this series and again Kathleen from World of Love Books has told me it's it's gonna go downhill for me it's probably gonna go downhill but I really enjoyed the first two books so I'm hoping like she said like this is where it starts starts okay then it does like a lot of these and then it's like it's completely different at the end so I'll I'll see I really I really want to try the series again I want to keep going with it um because it's one of the first series like I, I read when I started booktube it's been out that long finally going into November we have Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer here it is again of course I've read a book by my queen um this one was a read-along book for November of last year really enjoyed this. We found out it's going to be a trilogy now. I'm really excited for the last book. 
um, and I'm probably gonna pre-order that as soon as the pre-order's ready. These books always come out like right before I leave for Y'all Fest, so um, it's probably gonna be the same case this year. Arch Enemies was the last one. So here's how many books that I have read. Here's how many I have not read. I think I actually might be good on this one. I think I might have re read more than I haven't read, which I think is good. I don't remember how last year's video was, how that turned out, but I think I did better this year. I I don't know. I always love filming this video even though it is a bitch to edit, um, but thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, down below let me know if you've read any of these books. Any ones that I haven't read that you've read, let me know if I should read them or not, what you thought. Um, and thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you'd like to check out my vlog channel Colescence, it's linked in the description below. And if you like to see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post this. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! In the darkness, I don't feel so cold. The ashes fall like rain. And somehow we were okay. A story drifts between shadows and smoke.